All right, everything has been loaded up. These two shokers are empty. And let's fire this bad boy off. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the West Town series. It has been a while since the last episode and no, I am not dead. And in fact, the project has been chugging along faster than ever. In the past episodes, we have decided the basic dimensions and outlines, and those actually turn out to be the hardest and the slowest parts. So last week, as a group, we have done a little bit of work off camera, and here is a short montage. Welcome back. I didn't record everything from the start, so there's quite a lot of work that got missed. Namely, one of them is lifting all the walls behind us to the second level. So as you can see, except for the one that I'm standing on, most of them are on the second level and the kitchen doesn't have it because it's only a single level. And one of the work that I missed that I really wanted to show you guys is the West Tower. And that is one of the hardest things that we had to work on for this entire building. And it is right there. It doesn't feel completely accurate to the picture, but we try to keep everything in scale on the inside. So this is the best version we had. It feels a little chubby on the outside and this corner feels a little tight, but it works out. Okay, so for today, we are actually going on a little bit of resource gathering. Since all the work has been done during the montage, we should uh, gather some more materials. So for this building, you see the main materials that we use are basically white concrete, sandstone, and bricks. And as you can see in this picture, we are kind of running out of bricks. This is all the bricks we have. We have used up a whole double chest, uh, which are 
playable by these tokens. We'll need at least four double chests based on my rough estimation, but it could be totally wrong and we actually ended up needing five because we already got two levels down and uh, there's another level and a little bit of a attic on the very top and there's like an observe area or something. So that could add a little bit more, but theoretically four should be enough, but this is definitely not enough. Uh, what we're gonna do today is to gather some more clay because we are really running out of them and clay is used to make bricks and also because we cannot build a farm for it because we have the mob grief rule off and that means villagers cannot throw us clay and that will be the main mechanism for a clay farm okay so to gather clay we need to pick up our earth eater we do not want to soak touch ones and uh, let's head to a swamp biome if you want to be as efficient as possible, you might want to grab some water breathing potions as well as have this enchantment, the Aqua Affinity Enchantment. It allows you to dig as fast as on land when you're in water. All right, let's head over to the swamp and see if have been... Yeah, no, it's definitely been already used. Because look at these patterns, they generate in this, this cross diamond pattern and yeah these are all gone so we have to go further away look at that they're all gone oh there's there's more there's more there's a lot more over here okay well time to get to work everyone welcome back after a long gathering session we have finally collected our clay so what we have right here is actually four full shulker boxes of clay and that will eventually become one full shulker of bricks it is not a lot but you know um it's a good starting point and um it took me probably an hour or so. We also got some dirt by accident just because of the sheer power of this shovel it instantly mine any dirt since we have four shulker boxes, I think it is the perfect opportunity for us to put two in each super smelter. I think that would be cool. Alright, let's go. Okay, we are back at my super smelter. We don't have to load any fuel because they're already loaded and that should be more than enough. So let's load them up and uh, yeah, turn the machine on. So it's going. Perfect. They're all working. We just empty two shulkers and uh, it should be done pretty soon. We already have 20. Okay, so let's get the other two shulkers in the other place. Oh, we're here. All right, I brought the two shulker boxes with me and I also brought some uh, blaze rod, just a little. And I think it could be really helpful for this smelter to be loaded up. I actually have no clue who made this super smelter. If you're in the comment, please let me know. All right, everything has been loaded up. These two shulkers are empty. And let's fire this bad boy off. Look at that, look at that. And while the clays are being smelted, I think that should be a good end to this episode. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this video. It means a lot to me. And special thanks to Mara, Teacher Nate, and one other friend who all have largely contributed to the project. If you like what we're doing, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode.